Hey, welcome back to the second video on split valuation in SAP MM. In the previous video, we have understood the concepts of split valuation and how a material can be valuated into partial stocks by using split valuation. In this video, we are going to see an example of how a material is created for split valuation and how a purchase order posting will vary depending upon the partial stocks of a single material by using split valuation. And before we go into the video, please do not forget to subscribe to the channel and if you are finding the videos useful, please do like it and share it and motivate me to post many such videos on YouTube for free. You can also contribute to my work by becoming a member of this channel by clicking the join button and you get access to the member only videos, coupons and discounts. You can also do a one time contribution by clicking the thanks button and motivate me to post many such videos. So let's start the video. So I have created a material oranges and I want to evaluate these oranges based on the quality grades. So I will have two grades, grade 1 and grade 2 and I am procuring these from different vendors or even from the same vendor. But depending upon the grade of the orange, I am procuring it for a different prices. So let us say that grade 1 is the top quality and that I might procure it for 20 and grade 2 is a lower quality and that I might procure for 10 rupees per unit. So while creating a material master data, First, I have created like any normal material. I have entered all the basic details or basic tabs and everything. Only difference is in the accounting one tab, I have assigned a valuation category of T and the moving average price is the price control. So for split valuation to work, we always need to have the price control as moving average price. I have assigned a valuation class as 3000 and I did not give any price at this point because I want the system to automatically calculate the price based on the moving average price logic. Now after creating this valuation header record, this is called as a valuation header record because we are assigning the valuation category but I did not assign any valuation type. So if I go to the organization levels and assign a valuation type, I have created two valuation types grade 1 and grade 2. So first I will enter grade 1. And I have extended this same material in MM01 transaction by giving the grade 1 as my valuation type. And here I have again given the price control as V and I did not mention any price. And the same way I have also created another grade which is a valuation type. And for grade 2 as well, I have given valuation category as T, grade as grade 2 and price control is V and I did not mention any price. So this is how we create a material master data. We can even enter prices if required, but I want the system to automatically calculate the prices or evaluate the materials based on the purchase orders that I am posting on this one. So let me create a purchase order for this. So this is my supplier. And this is the material I have created as Z oranges. And I am procuring one quantity and I am procuring it for let us say 50 rupees. And this is the plant and storage location. This is like creating any normal purchase order. But how can you differentiate that whether we are procuring this for grade 1 or grade 2? So that is available in the delivery tab. So here we have a field called as valuation type. And this valuation type is what the system will determine whether we are procuring it for grade 1 or grade 2. If I mention any of these, then the system will evaluate only that partial stock which belongs to the respective valuation type that I have given here. If I do not mention any valuation type, then the valuation will be done at the header level. So first I am giving it at a valuation type as grade 1. And under conditions, we have a price given as 50 rupees, which is the net price. And after giving a cash discount of 2%, then 49 is what I am supposed to pay. 
but the inventory value is going to be 50. So let me save this purchase order. So purchase order is created. Now I will post a goods receipt for this one in the transaction code MIGO. So this is goods receipt and this is the purchase order. And here I am giving it as item OK. And if you see here, valuation type is copied from the purchase order. Save it. So this material document is posted. Let us see the material document. And under document info, we will see the FI document. And like any other goods receipt, the inventory is evaluated at 50. What is the price that we have given in the purchase order? Let us go to the transaction code MMBE. And for this one in the plant 0THY, let us also see what is the valuation that is done. So we are having a stock of one quantity. Let us also open the material master data. And under accounting one, we will see what is the moving average price for this valuation type. So see here. The moving average price is taken as 50. That means the system had evaluated only this partial stock. And if we go to the other grade or other valuation type, the price is zero. And even if I go to the header record where there is no valuation type, the moving average price is 50, which means this is a combination of both the grades. Also, if there is any material which is not posted at an individual valuation type, or posted at a header. So the moving average price that we see at the header level is a combination of all the partial stocks, whereas at an individual partial stock, we will see the value for that respective valuation type. So let us go back to the purchase order. Now we will create another purchase order for the valuation type grade 2 and we will give a different amount and we will see what is the valuation taken for that. The same material, we are going to procure one quantity, but this time it is of a lower quality. So I am taking it as 30 rupees. The currency is INR. And under the delivery, now I am giving the valuation type as 2. And the system had copied from the origin group. Let us change it to 30 and go back to the delivery that is grade 2 and the value is 30 check in the conditions it is 30 and save it for this one i will create a purchase order sorry i will create a goods receipt So here if we see the valuation type is grade 2 and let us save it. And now we'll display this document. And if you see the FI document, then the inventory should be hit with 30 rupees as expected. And now let us go back to the material and let us try to see for this grade 2. Let us reopen the material master so that it will refresh. And here if you see now, the per unit price is 30. Now if you go back to grade 1, it is still 50. And if you see at a whole level, then it is having a moving average price of 40, which is 50 plus 30 by 2. So that is a moving average price. So this is how a single material can be evaluated in multiple stocks or partial stocks. And we can arrive at a final value, which is the combination of all the partial stocks. And when we use this material for our production process, we can take it based on what valuation type is used while issuing the material. Or we can always take the moving average price without issuing any valuation type.
So this is how split valuation works. We can create purchase orders at an individual partial stock level so that a single material can have multiple valuations. I hope you found this video useful. If so, please do like it, share it and do not forget to subscribe to the channel. And you can join the channel to get access to the third video of this series where we are showing the configuration required for split valuation and how to create a material for that split valuation. So see you in the next videos and take care.